So on all of our vans, we're going to include a 25 gallon freshwater tank on the driver's side. So we think it's really important to keep a, the water and the electrical separate. Your water tank is actually molded around the wheel well here. This allows us to maximize space and fit 25 gallons down on the floor here. So your fill up for that is going to be right on the back of this garage cabinet. This cap just unscrews and you can get in there with either a hose or sometimes I like to carry around uh, like a seven gallon jug. You can even use like a milk jug. That way you can take it into the store, fill it up, carry it out, and then fill up right there with a, a funnel. Up front here, we're going to include a little nozzle that has an adapter on it that makes it a lot easier to fill this up without spilling everywhere. So underneath here, you're going to be able to access all of the plumbing for the water system without taking anything apart. So we find it's really convenient to have immediate access to uh, your water fill up, your water pump, the plumbing for the sink. That way, should anything ever happen, you have immediate access to it. So in order to keep a gauge on how much water you have on your tank, you can actually look through this cubby hole right here. So this doubles as a, a storage hole as well. But if you look in there, you have a full sight of uh, the water line on that tank. So that way you don't overfill it. 25 gallons in my use, which I don't typically use a ton of water. I use it to wash some dishes, wash my hands, occasional sink shower. It usually lasts me like 10 to 14 days. Now, depending on how much you use it, that might vary. We want plenty of water capacity. This is meant to be totally off grid, meant to last a while. And that's why we include it on all of them. So now I'm up front by the kitchenette and we have our sink here. Now this is an albatross. We have the sink right by the window. So on this build, you can actually swivel it out for like an outdoor shower of sorts. The key with this sink, all of the components and plumbing, like I mentioned, are just right underneath the cabinet here. So they're really easy to access. Right here is your water pump. Right here is the back end of your freshwater tank. So that's another place that you can gauge how much is in here. So for gray water, we're gonna have two options. One, you could put a 22 gallon tank underneath the chassis of the van. That way the sink water will drain down through the van and then into the tank underneath. Or you can opt for the six gallon tank inside the cabinet. That way to empty that, you just pull out the tank, dump it out in a safe spot. Pros and cons to each. One, obviously the 22, you're gonna have a lot more capacity, but you might be a little more prone to water freezing as it's outside of the van. So you're gonna have the six gallon inside, it's gonna stay a little warmer and not freeze, but the capacity is not quite there. With this water pump, one of the only things that you need to do to maintain it is just ensure that it doesn't freeze. Uh, that's super simple. There's no big winterizing process with air compressors and stuff on our vans. It's literally just as simple as emptying out your water tank. So if it is winter time and you're not using your van for a couple days, you're going to want to drain this tank down and then run the sink up here until the water is all the way out. So you'll even run this pump dry for a few seconds just to be sure. And just make sure all of that water is out of the tank, out of the plumbing, out of the pump, and then out of the faucet. Super simple to do, maybe takes like 10 minutes. So under here, you'll also notice a power strip with some AC plugins. You can plug in any appliance here for your kitchen. And you'll also notice that there's two things already plugged into here. One is the induction stove up on your counter. The other is the outlet. So there's another AC outlet up on the counter. Those are the only two things plugged into here. The water pump is actually a DC powered device. So on your uh, EcoFlow power unit, you're gonna be able to flip that on and off with the DC setting. If you ever don't have power to your pump or your sink's not working, that's something you, you should check is that your DC power is flipped on and that your water pump has power. This valve here is just a shutoff and that's going to distribute hot and cold water. Now this van does not have a water heater on it. If it did, this is something that you could flip off to route water in different directions, but really not something that you'll probably mess with. All right, quick pro tip. When you're emptying out your water pump, you're also going to want to check this cap. So this is a little strainer, a little filter to filter out any particulates that come up through the tank and into the pump. Sometimes you can get some leftover water in there, even when it feels like you've run this dry and then this cap will bust off. So something I would do is just run the pump dry for about three seconds, 
and then pull this off, make sure there's no leftover water in there. 